What's up everybody? It's Trav from Trav Builds, bringing you another video on a beautiful fall November day. If you live in New England, you know that today is not normal. It's like in the 70s with a nice breeze. I've been outside all day in a t-shirt. This is awesome. Anyways, enough rambling. Let's get to the video. As you saw in the thumbnail, this is a video about my project truck, which is a 1985 Chevrolet C10 square body it's in pieces right now it is in shambles the thumbnail that truck doesn't look like that anymore it doesn't even look like a truck to be honest with you long story short i don't have any videos of me building this truck to what it is so far all i've ever taken is pictures for instagram i have an instagram for this truck i don't even remember the name of it but i'll try to remember and i'll put it somewhere here in the video Basically three years ago, or almost three years ago, I bought this house behind me, my first ever house, my first time ever having a garage. I've always had to work on my projects outside, only on nice days. Now I have a garage, and I still don't work on my truck on nice days. Some things never change. I just have a place to stay out of the rain, whatever. So basically, I bought this house. I was like, I have a garage. I need a project. At the time, I didn't have a project. I just sold my last project, which was a... Uh, Toyota rock crawler. I'll try to find a picture of it and put it right here. I might not even have a picture of it anymore. I don't know, but I built that thing from the frame up. So anyways, guy down the road for me had this C10 for sale. I was never a Chevy guy. I was never a, a square body guy. And I saw it and I said, I want that truck. So I talked to him, went over there, looked at it, put it up on his lift. For a New England truck, thing was almost, almost immaculate. No rust, nothing like that. Very little rust, I should say. Not that there was no rust, but very little rust. Um, I think I paid like $1,200 for this truck, running, driving, Chevy 350, turbo 400, 10 bolt rear, your typical truck. Um, so I brought it home. I don't even think I had lived here for a month. I brought it home, took it off the trailer, hooked it up under the dash to a rat's nest of wires. I moved some of them and it started smoking. So I immediately fixed that and said, I'm not touching this truck until all the wiring is done. I'll do a quick little rebuild, get the wiring all sorted out, and then I'll have a nice driver. Well, let me bring you into the garage and show you how the wiring is going on this truck. Start off by saying my garage is a mess. My bench is a complete disaster. I have no desire to ever clean this garage. I should be doing it today on this beautiful day, but I have way more important things to do, like yard work, before it gets too cold to do that. So anyways... I'm going to spin the camera around, put it on the truck. Don't mind the clutter that's around it, on it, whatever. Um, and show you how far we've gotten with doing a simple rewire. Yeah, simple rewire turned into a frame off build. So I'm going to put some pictures at the end of the video for you to check out. Maybe I'll put them right now. Anyways, I bought the truck, like I said, whoever owned it before the guy that I bought it from, because he bought it and he did nothing with it. He bought it and said, you know what? I got too much other shit going on. So he wanted to sell it. Somebody painted the entire frame bright red. They painted the entire engine bay bright red. They put like neon lights, they shaved the tailgate, put a roll pan on it, did a terrible job. They tried to shave the dashboard. They put those stupid flames on it that you saw in the thumbnail. It was 
a complete disaster. I said, there's no way I'm driving this thing with a bright red frame or a bright red engine bay. Like, it's not happening. I said, I got to get this frame black. I'm stripping it down to a bare frame, which I did. I had it sandblasted, painted. The pictures will do the justice. And then I said, just do a simple rebuild, refer, you know, freshen up the suspension, freshen up the 350, just do a head cam, you know, your typical 350 build, put the truck back together, maybe throw some paint on it, maybe not, and just drive it. Yeah, well, let's, uh, let's show you what I did to the suspension first. So, as you can tell, I went full tubular, coil over, QA1 bolt-on setup. I said, you know what? We're down to a frame. We're just gonna do this right and do it once. So, QA1, bolt-on, coil over kit. It's been on there for two years now, as you can tell, by all the dust on it. Um, it's got some lowering spindles. I don't know what the ride height is. <laughs> don't ask me, because I don't know. So I got that installed. And then I said, you know what? I can't just have a coil over front end. I got to have a coil over rear end. So, yep, yeah, you guessed it. And you might have already seen. I went with a full QA1 coil over linked rear end. All bolt in. Beautiful, beautiful. Yes, I'm keeping the 10 bolt. We'll talk about that in a minute. But yeah, with the full bolt on, coil over kit in the rear to match the front. I had to do it. I just had to. So as far as the cab goes, it's not in terrible shape. You know, the rockers aren't bad. Um, the inner rockers, they did some weird stuff to it. I don't know what they did, but it's really it's in pretty good shape there's no rot which is huge i think a lot of body work has already been done to this thing just not to my liking but i mean it's it's not terrible i think the whole thing's probably skim coated from what i can tell it's pretty smooth so what i'm gonna do i'm probably just gonna get rid of the red on the firewall and the inner fenders and just put the cab back on and send it the floors are in great shape um you know, the seat's not in terrible condition. The dash, actually, for an older square body dash, is not in terrible condition, believe it or not. Um, yeah. So that's the cab. The bed, bed's in the same shape. Bed's flying. The, uh, no rod on the bed or anything like that. So we're just going to send it on this one, I think, as far as body work goes. I'm more worried about engine and handling for this truck. Oh my gosh, it's nice out, but this sun. Anyways, as you probably saw, I got myself a Boyd aluminum 19 gallon, I think it is, fuel tank. I gotta get the sun out of my eyes. This is brutal. So the reason I bought that is because a good buddy of mine, co-worker, Chris, I'm gonna leave his YouTube Name right here, Fixed Roof Coop. Go check him out. He's got a 1926, I believe, Model T rat rod that he's starting to build. That thing's going to be killer. It's actually got some parts off of the C10 that he's going to run, so that's pretty badass. Um, he's got a 1951 Chevy Styline. He called Beauty because she's a beauty. And he's got a C5 with a little surprise, but I'm not going to tell you what it is. You got to go check it out for yourself. So anyways, he talked me into this thing. It's just a 5.3 out of a truck. I don't need to get into it. Everyone knows what an LS is. It's a 5.3 liter out of a truck. The end. It's probably going to get a cam, some valve springs, maybe an intake, and that's it. I'm not doing anything crazy to this motor. I say that, but I just want to get this thing running. So we're going to do that. I'm gonna throw the Turbo 400 behind it, whether I use the one that I have and just have it freshened up or just buy an upgraded one just for peace of mind. They're not terribly expensive, so I'm not that worried about it either way. So that's what 
the plan is. So we got the coilover suspension. It's gonna be awesome. We got the LS. It's gonna be a fun truck. It really is. I'm really excited someday to drive this thing and have the power of a modern truck, have the look of an older truck and the suspension of a race car, basically, because it's kind of what it is. So yeah, LS time, I guess. We just went full send on this truck, but I'm not mad about it. Wouldn't be a video without my best friend. Oh, apparently he wants to be by himself today. Whatever. So that's my C10. It's my project. I don't know when I'm ever gonna drive this thing. I do want to start working on it a lot more, maybe after this winter. I don't like going in the garage in the winter. I don't like to pay to heat it because I'm cheap, but I want to drive this thing soon. So I, I have a feeling with the YouTube, the videos I'm making, the videos I want to make, that we're going to make some good progress. Probably have my friend Chris come help me with a bunch of stuff, especially when it comes to the motor. I've never really opened up a motor before to do cam swaps or anything like that. So a lot of this is a learning experience for me. I can turn a wrench, but when it comes to motors, hmm, still a little new to me as far as internal. So that's going to do it. Like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments what you like about my truck so far, what you don't like, what you would do. If you think I should paint it the color, leave it ratty. Cam suggestions, throw it all at me. Exhaust suggestions. I don't know what I'm doing other than long tubes right now. I have a set of mufflers, but... Magnaflow mufflers, I just bought them just because I was just buying random shit one day. So, yeah, that's going to do it. Thanks for watching.